Hi guys, welcome to the Jenny Show. This is Jenny. Um, so this video is not my normal setup. My room is a complete mess. And um, I just got really angry at the Dear Fat People video that was posted by this person. Um, you can look her up. I'm not going to mention her name. She's not worth me mentioning her name, but you know, a lot of people know who she is. And a lot of people are making responses to this video. Now, I'm pretty sure by the way that the world works and the way that social media and YouTube views and um, YouTube personality um, growth works, that this was her intention to get people responding, to get everybody who's too sensitive to um, become upset and give her more fame. But um, I felt like either way, it was very important for me to make this video, um, not for her, but for the people who have been shamed and who have been going through um, these things for so many years. I started my channel in the year 2006 or 2007, and I really didn't have a direction for it. I just started the channel to subscribe to fun videos that I liked. Um, <clears throat> and then it became something where I wanted to use my voice to um, write injustices in the world. And a lot of it came from the fact that when I was younger, I went through a lot of these things that a lot of young girls are going through and will go through for the rest of time because we are obsessed by the way that we look and we are obsessed, not just girls, the world, people. We are obsessed by the way that we look and we are obsessed by the way others look. And we are mostly obsessed with our egos. And I feel like a lot of where this is coming from is ego. People need to feel better than others. And it's funny that, um, it's not funny, it's just sad that I just put out a video a few days ago about this, about uh, mean people and the way that um, insecurities make people mean. Even people who you think are gorgeous, who have all these followers, who are thin, who are famous, they're still mean inside because they haven't really created their self-esteem. That doesn't come from any of these things. That being said, um, there are many reasons why this video is wrong and evil and just mean. Not just because it's um, shaming, but also what is the purpose of it? I'm here to debate the fact that the intent, the intent was a good intent. That's a complete lie. It's a flat out um, bald face lie for you to say that it was for the good of these people to motivate them. First of all, you're not a doctor. So leave that to the doctor, please. I mean, um, you wouldn't be on YouTube if you were a doctor. Go to school if that's your passion. Um, and this is where it really gets me upset and where I'm not as kind and as graceful as I should be. Go be a doctor. I mean, there are ways to do it. You can go to school. You are privileged enough to go to school and do it. If you feel so passionate about changing fat people's lives, go ahead. Go to school. Become a nutritionist or something. Do it. Um, but aside from that, psychologically, that's not how it works. Now, um, I actually went to school for this, for psychology. And um, we... I mean, even taking a psych 101 class in high school or college, um, you know that positive reinforcement is the best way to get somebody to change their problematic behaviors. Anything. It can be um, from a child having um, ADHD, from a child having um, any kind of behavior that is problematic or um, not conducive to leading a successful life, um, including health issues like overeating or undereating. What do I mean by positive reinforcement? It means you reward a person for taking good steps towards um, changing the behavior. This is the exact opposite. And this is why it really sucks. And a lot of people don't know how to verbalize it. They know it's wrong, but they don't know why it's wrong. It's, it's basic human emotion. You, this is not how you do it. This is how you dig a deeper ditch for somebody is you shame them and you make them feel worthless and you make them feel like it is their fault and they need to dig a ditch and die. And that broke my heart. Literally, I said that in my head um, when I watched the video 
and it broke my heart. It put me in tears. I got my eyes got teary because of it. Because when you think about that, it makes sense. Even if you've never been through depression, even if you've never been through um, having a mental illness or having a physical um, issue that you're dealing with, like being overweight or underweight, um, body dysmorphia, or any, you've never been through any of that. You've been happy-go-lucky all your life. I applaud you for that if you have. But even if you haven't, understanding that, understanding that making somebody feel worthless does not lead to them changing behavior. It leads to them wanting to die or doing other destructive things that makes them die inside, if you know what I mean. And I feel that um, self-harm, a lot of these things that we're so um, fearful of and we want to guard our children from, and we want to guard people from, um, it's something we don't take serious enough. And we think, well, you're just being too sensitive, right? There's no such thing. Everybody deals with emotion differently, and this is why this video is so problematic. The fact that this person is not keeping that into mind, and the fact that a few laughs, because this person describes herself as a comedian, a few laughs are worth more than the lives of so many people. Let that sink in. In the past, I've made videos about my struggles as a child with obesity and being overweight. Um, I did get through those as I grew older, both naturally, um, <clears throat> growing into my own body, but also because of changes of different behaviors and ways that I thought about myself. It's something that it is a struggle and it is something that you go through um, sometimes many years uh, trying to correct. Some people correct it, some don't. And the people that don't and still need to correct it, they need all the support that they can get, all of it. And these things do not help. Um, Granted, you can say, well, this is your choice. You're going to McDonald's every day. Just don't go. It's very easy to say that. But when this is the only thing that is really fulfilling you, it's making you happy, it's making you forget certain things that were crummy in your day, is a reward um, for you, and it has been a reward for you for so many years, it's very hard to change that. And um, it's almost like an addiction. And when we talk about addictions, that can be a whole nother video. Um, things that I've dealt with and other people have dealt with. And it's one of the reasons why it really hurt me and it really made me angry and upset. And I w didn't want to come off on this video too angry because it defeats the purpose of the message that I'm trying to put forward. But I've had a family member succumb to addiction and addictions are different you know they are all different but they're all the same in a way and the way is that a lot of what these things are for people are rewards and it's very hard to part from a reward even though it's hurting you and you can say the same thing about people it's very easy to part from somebody um, abusive relationships for example um, when it rewards you with a sense of having somebody, of having somebody that cares for me, um, not being alone. And that's something, it sounds very basic when I say it. I feel like everybody should know it. But maybe everybody doesn't know it. And I hope that she takes that message from all these videos. Um, I really think she's a very dark person inside, and I hope that that changes for her. But she's not the focus of my video. My video is everybody out there that is going through something. Know that I'm here for you. Know that I've been through it. Know that there are so many people going through it. And it's something that you can get through. It's something that you can get help for. You're not alone and you're not completely in control of it. It's something that you may think you're in control, um, but you're not. And it's fine to not have control, but it's a lot better to get help and to get support. Do not. Do not by any means take her video to heart or any of these people saying these things to you. Because like I said in my previous video, all of these people shaming others, being mean to others, that's really a power trip. And they're trying to make themselves be a better themselves. Um, really what that is, it's an insecurity, a person who needs to feed their ego because their ego is never full. Um, 
And that's an issue I think that is a whole lot worse than being fat. I love you guys. And, um, you know, we can go on here forever about the topic, but I feel that what's really beautiful coming out from this is the support and the response videos and all the people who are saying no get out of here this is not comedy this is not funny this is not cool that is a, the positive side of it um knowing that you guys are not alone knowing that you can speak to all these people who are giving you support including me um and you know that's it i I'm glad for one that I was reminded of my purpose in having this channel, but also I'm glad that so many people are getting support for myself and from others. It's very important that we support one another and that we create a safe place, make this world a safer place for everyone to live in, regardless of your size, regardless of your color, regardless of your hair, how you look. Um, Regardless of anything, you are a human being, you are worth uh, being here, you are worth it. Regardless of the things that are controlling your life, the things that are um, making you unhealthier, regardless of all those things that people judge you for, you're worth support. You're worth somebody saying, you know what, this might not be ideal for you, but we can, we can help you fix it, we can help you um, become better. And you're not a horrible person for it. That's it. That's all the time I have for this video. Um, it's just, it really boggles my mind that there are people out there like this. But um, the bright side is that there are so many more beautiful people like you, my subscribers, my viewers, um, and all the people making response videos. I love you guys. And like always, stay ultimate.